this, Lord. Amazing. 
Amazing God. Amazing God. You are amazing God. Amazing God. Amazing God. But God is still amazing. Praise Him. The devil is a liar on this morning. The word will come forth. Amazing God. Amazing God. Yes, Lord. Amazing God. You are amazing God. Amazing God. What an awesome God. Yes, Lord. Put your trust in Him. Yes. Man can't do it for you. Yes. I stand amazed at your Amazing God. Yes, Lord. I stand amazed at your power. Yes. So amazing. So amazing. 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 I stand amazed. Amazing God. Amazing. Yes, I awesome. stand amazed. Do you feel it? I'm stuck with you feel so much so more. Amazing God. So amazing. So amazing. So amazing. So amazing. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you. Lord God, we know that your timing 
is already, 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 already on time. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Lord God, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. We Lord God, we lift you. We lift you. Lord God, we bless you. We bless you. Lord God. We bless you, Lord God. We bless your name, Lord God. We bless your name, Lord God. We bless your name, Lord God. Way, yes, way. I'm awake. I'm alive. I'm seeing. I'm way. hearing. I'm here. Oh, my God. Lord Have God, you. I thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. I thank you for my family. I thank you for my pastor. I thank you, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Lord God, I thank you for my children. Lord God, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. I already know they say because God said He's gonna do it. Yes. I already know. He said we're victorious. Yes, we're winners. Lord. Yes. And on this morning, Lord God. Yes, Lord. We're gonna listen. Yes, we're going to do what the word says to do. Yes, and we're going to honor you. Yes, we're going to yes, praise Lord. you and give you glory. Yes. And in the name of Jesus, we amen. bless you. Jesus. Amen. 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 And amen. 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 Woo! Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. He deserves that and more. Yeah. Yes, he does that and more. Yes. 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 Not yes. pastor, but God deserves more yes. and more. And more. Hallelujah. And we know that we have a wonderful word coming in this Today, yes. But before we get to that wonderful word, we're going to bring up Minister Brenda Cheney to introduce and give some warm words about our pastor on this morning. So this time, amen. Minister Brenda amen. Cheney. Amen. 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 Praise, Praise God. God. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Hallelujah. I'm up to introduce. Pastor P to everyone. All right. For those of you that don't know who he is, he's a man of God. Yes. He's Amen. an awesome father. Amen. Amen. Awesome husband. Yes. He's a working man. Yes. Amen. He loves people. Yes. Amen. He loves his community. Yes. He's a phenomenal man. Amen. Our God. And so I introduce to some and to others. Amen. None other. In Pastor Peace. Preach, yeah. Pastor Peace. Preach, preach, preach yeah. Pastor Peace. Preach, Pastor Peace. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah on this morning. Give God a hand clap glory, of glory, this glory. Morning. Amen. He's worthy. Yes, he is. To be praised. We yes. bless his name on this morning. Come on, give God a hand, clap of praise. Hallelujah. We bless his name on this morning. Hallelujah. We lift him up. We give him all the glory. We give him all the praise. We give him all the honor. We just bless his name on Hallelujah. this morning. We say thank you, Father. Thank Hallelujah. you for being in this place. Yes. Thank you for taking up residency in our lives. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you on this morning. Thank we you. lift you up on this morning. Yes. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The enemy is terrified on this morning yes. because their souls on the line and those souls are one for Christ. Yes. We thank God for each and every person on this morning. Yes, God. We thank God for just being a blessing in yes. our lives and we in your life. Thank you, we God. just give God all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. And all the honor. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless his name on this morning. Yeah. We bless his name yes. on this morning. There is no other name, no other name. that we can be saved yes. but by the name of Jesus yeah. Christ. Hallelujah. Come on and give our Lord and Savior a hand clap of praise on this morning. We bless his name bless his on name. this morning. Yes, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you. God has a word for the house on this morning. Yeah, amen. Uh, and I love how God just works things out. Amen. He'll amen. leave you isolated just long enough to get your <laughs> attention. And then he'll drop something great in your spirit. Yeah. So on this morning, I want you to be blessed by the word. Yes. I want you to pull up by the word. I want you to receive the word. Right. I want you to run with the word yeah. and grow with the word yeah. on this morning. Right. If you don't know me, I'm Pastor P from OEM, Outstretched Evangelistic Ministry. Yeah. And we thank God for each and every one of you watching on yeah. this morning by way of Facebook, by way of YouTube, yeah. or however, or whatever platform you're using on this morning. Amen. We just thank God for you. Yes, we do. Amen. And we just give God all the praise and all the glory on this morning. This morning. Hallelujah. This morning. Hallelujah. 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 We serve a mighty God. Mighty God. A mighty we God. serve a mighty God. A mighty God. We serve 
a mighty God. A mighty God. God. Yeah. Save. A God that can deliver. Yes. A God that can set free. Yes. A God that can make a way out of nowhere. Yes. We serve a mighty God. A mighty Don't God. get me started God. on mighty this morning. We All serve right. a God that answer prayer. Yes. We serve a God that can answer you speedily. Yes. He'll bring everything into your presence right where you are. We serve an awesome, awesome and a mighty God. Mighty God. Hallelujah. He's not just awesome and mighty. He's mighty and strong yes, in he battle. He'll fight for you. Yes. He'll bring you through. Yes. He'll bring you out yes. of every situation yes. you're dealing with. Our God is mighty. Mighty He's God. powerful. Mighty God. Mighty God. Hallelujah. 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 Mm -hmm. Amen. We thank God for those that are in the house on this morning. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. Give yourself a hand clap of prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I won't be before you long on this morning. Hallelujah. But Praise if you God. turn with me, we're going to go back to the book to the beginning. All right. We're going to go to Genesis. All right. Chapter 4. Okay. Verse 6 and 7. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Genesis. Chapter 4. Okay. Verse 6 through 7. When you have it, say amen. Amen. When you have it, say amen again. Amen. 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 And it reads like this. And the Lord said unto Cain, mm -hmm. Why art thou wroth? Mm -hmm. And why is thy countenance falling? In other words, he said, Why are you angry? And why are you sad? Man. If thou doest well, mm -hmm. shalt thou not be accepted? Mm -hmm. And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door. Okay. Can I say that again? All right. Sin lieth at the door. Mm -hmm. All right. And unto thee shall he have, shall he, shall be his desire. And thou shalt rule over him. Okay. I want to speak to you from this thought. Or from this. <laughs> Lord have mercy. From this topic. What is this? All right. All right. What is this? All right then. Go ahead and pray. My God. My what God. is this? All right. What is this? This. What is this? My God, my God. Mm. Lord have mercy. What is this? Okay. My brothers and sisters, have you ever been to a restaurant and you know the type of food you want? Right. You know exactly how the preparation is supposed to take place. Yeah, uh -huh. You know exactly how it looks. You bought it before and they bring you something else. My in God. the words that come out your mouth or the words that form in your mouth is what is this? <laughs> right. This is yeah. not what I ordered. <laughs> this is not what I'm looking for. Right. Right. This right. is not what I'm looking at. This is not my order. You have made a mistake. This is not my order. Uh -huh. What is this? Is right this now? is not what I ordered. This is not what am I expecting? Is there anybody expecting God to do some great things in yes. your life? Is there anybody <laughs> expecting God to move mightily on your behalf? Is there yes. anybody expecting great wealth and great health in your life yes, when Lord. it comes to the things of God? Tell somebody, say, I'm expecting. I'm expecting. I'm expecting. Right, I'm right. expecting. Not, I'm not expecting My what they God. brought. To the table. All right, the first thing that when it comes to mind is, what is this? Right. Man, did the cook have a bad day? Mm -hmm. Was the cook having an awful evening? Is the cook going off his rockers? Right. What is this that you have sent out to the table and it's not what you usually put out? You know when you have a fine or a full course meal, that the meal is done a certain right. way, yes. it's appetizing, it is appealing, but when they bring it to your table, it's not right. like it's supposed to be, right. and you looking at this thing saying, what is this? Right. Matter of fact, send it back. Right. I, reject it back. This. I reject send it. Send it back to the cook. Right. And I want to tell somebody on this morning, you got the ability to send back to send there All what right. they try to send you. All right. Right now. Mm. The enemy is trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Yeah. He's trying 
to give you a substitute for the promises of God. Yeah. And you have to know the differences between an illusion and a substitute All right. All for right. God's All blessing right. All right. in All your right. life. Right. I'm talking to somebody on this morning. Yeah. A blessing that looks like what you've been praying for, what you've been asking God for. Can I help somebody out on this morning? Somebody's been praying for a husband. Somebody's been praying for a man. But the enemy sends you a substitute. He sends you a partial man. He sends you a piece of man. And that's not a whole man. But somebody say, I want a whole man. Hallelujah. I want a whole man. Yeah. The enemy sends you an illusion. He sends you a substitute. I told my wife last week, I had a dream that I received a, a BMW. It was a sports type of car. But I knew in my heart, there's no way that I could afford the oil change. There's no way I could afford the services that needed for this BMW to be handled and clean and secure the whole time. If I would have received it, it would have been a blessing sitting in the driveway because I was not prepared to handle what God was giving me. But the enemy... The sends enemy. an illusion. The enemy. He sends something else yeah. your way. And she said, maybe it was a blessing. Yeah. I said, that's what the enemy wants us to believe sometimes. That it is a blessing. And sometimes we do receive blessings in disguise. Yeah. But God puts the right thing in your the hand. Right because he knows that you're able to handle what he has given you. Last week we talked about... My God. My God, you follow me. You follow me. My that means God. you had to put you had to put the emphasis on you. Yeah. You had to realize in yourself what you are capable of doing, yeah. not wondering what everybody else is doing, but living for God for yourself. Right, right, right. Mm. My God, God, the blessings of looking like it uh -huh. is just an illusion. It's a deception. Good, good. It is the appearance or the impression. It is the an illusion of being together. And sometimes the enemy can have folks thinking they are being blessed because they have it all together. Uh, and I come to tell somebody on this morning, you don't have it all together. Uh, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Yeah, yeah, you have yeah. it all together. When you are in Christ, yeah. but you still gonna have some storms. Yes, you will. You still gonna have some ups yeah, and downs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still gonna be on the highs and the lows. Yeah. And in those lows or in those highs, you cannot step back on God. No, you can't. Don't step back on you God. You can't step back my on God. God. My God. <clears throat> you can't step back on God. My God. In our lesson on this morning, God. It's trying to warn Cain. Yeah. I'm telling somebody on this morning, God is trying to warn you yes, on is. this morning. Yes, he yes. was trying to warn Cain. He was trying to warn Cain of three things. And he's trying to get us to think like this as well. Okay. That there's something that's not right about us. Mm. There was something that was not right about him. Okay. Number two, how to handle the situation. God always gives you an out in every yes, situation yes, that does. you're dealing with in your life. Yes, and number three, yes, what yes, will does. happen if he does not My. obey Ooh. the word of God? All right now. By God is trying to warn us. Mm. Like he warned Cain. Mm -hmm. He said, Cain, look at here. You are upset. Why are you upset? First of all, God wants us to think about what makes us upset. Right. What gets us angry? What gets us in a certain type of mood? Okay. What pushes our buttons to do the opposite of what God wants to be done in our lives? Mm. So God is trying to help Cain. All right. Mm -hmm. He's trying to help Cain. The Bible lets us know, and if you read this story before, it's chapter 4, 1 through 7, or 1 through 10. You can go back and read it in your own time, but I picked verses 6 and 7 for a reason, because you have the authority to send back to sender. You send have the to authority sender. to say, what is this? You, are, you have the authority to say, I will not accept what the enemy is trying to do right. in my life. Is there anybody out there saying to somebody or saying to the enemy, I will not accept yes, what yes. the enemy is throwing in my way. Right. I want to accept what he's trying to cause him, the 
position in my household. Right. I want to accept. He's trying to call, cause all type of chaos. Yeah. I want to accept it. What is this? What is this, my Lord? What is this? Mm -hmm. What is this causes you to think about what is happening right now in the situations my, in your my, life? My, my, my. <clears throat> We use the restaurant, but you can also use when you were, uh, have you ever went to buy a vehicle mm -hmm. and you weren't prepared, your credit score wasn't where it should have been, God. and you get to the place and you pick out the vehicle that you want, then they go inside and start working the numbers, <laughs> and you sitting there praying, yeah, this is my vehicle, my this God. is all mine, I got this, God's going to give this to me, but you went unprepared to receive that vehicle. You went unprepared to receive your house. The first time we went to buy a house, we thought we had everything lined up, line upon line, precept yeah, yeah, upon yeah. precept, and then end up getting to the getting to the end of the thing, and they made one crucial mistake. Something was out of order. Right, right, right. We lost that house. And we had prayed. We yeah. thought we had it all together. Right. But we weren't prepared, we were prepared. like we should have been. My God. And I'm telling you, I don't know who I'm talking Jesus. to on this My morning. God. God said, you got to prepare. Prepare. You're talking about this whole year is uh, being prepared for greater. You got to prepare for greater. It's not yeah. just going to fall in your lap. You have to prepare for greater. Yeah. It's going to take some work. It's going to take some work on your behalf. It's going to take you getting up, moving, Move. in faith, and not being hindered yes. by the enemy. Yes. My God. The focus is lined up. It's in alignment, in divine alignment with what God is working and doing in your life. We yeah. even spoke last Sunday about do you know your assignment? Right. We should all know our assignment. Yes. My God. We should yes, know yes. our assignment. Yes. Think all it mm, We should know mm. our assignment. Yes. So Lord. God is talking to Cain. The Bible lets us know. In the story, it says that uh, Abel was a man of a flock. Mm. He herded the flock. And Cain was a man of the field. And if you remember back in Genesis, uh, when the, when God told, uh, told um, Adam and Eve that man would till the ground yes, yes, of the field yes. was all his life. We look at Cain. He was working in that. And I'm telling somebody on this morning, it's time to break generational curses in your life. Yes. You are not the same like your father. You are not the same like your mother. You are not the same like your child. It's time to break generational break curses. Break and that's what God was trying to get Cain to realize. Don't Eve fail for the illusion. Don't yes. Eve fail for the... Yes. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Though Eve fell for what the serpent brought her way, God was telling Cain, you don't have to think like your mother was thinking. My God, my God. You don't have to think like she was thinking. Yes. I've given you a mind of your own. Yes. And all you have to do is acknowledge me yes. in all your ways. Yes. Cain, Cain, Cain. Cain was a man of the field. He tilled the ground. And when it was time to bring God an offering, yeah. God expected, my God, my God, uh, God expected them to bring the best. Yeah, God expected the best. them to bring their gift. God expected them yeah. to bring what he's given them or what he's allowed them or entrusted them with. So we had Abel who brought the first uh, of his flock, okay. the finest of his flock, the the young of his flock yeah. and offered it up to God and God received it. But then you had Cain on the other hand who was highly mm, mm, mm. My God. Cain seen that God, My God had received his brothers. Right, right. Okay. Offering. Mm. He just knew that God was going to receive his offering. And I'm telling somebody on today, God is not just going to receive any offering that you give him. Why did Cain's offering was rejected? The oh reason God. Cain's offering was rejected is because he brought not of the blood of the sacrifice uh, that God required, but uh, it was an attitude that he brought to the Lord. And I want to tell somebody on this morning, you just can't bring any type of attitude to God and think you're going to give blessing. You just can't bring any type of attitude and think God's going to give you the blessing or the promise. God is going to 
no respect your person. My God. It's in the Bible. Yes. Yes, it is. God is no respect your person. Yes. He, it, it seems like he's having favoritism or he's choosing one over another, but he knows what he will accept yes. and what he will not accept. Yes. And I'm telling somebody on this morning, you don't have to accept what folks are throwing your way. You don't have to have those. My God. All right. The only crumbs you want is the crumbs that fall from the master's table. Yeah, yeah. You don't need crumbs thrown at you from nobody else. God will make a way. Yes, he for will. You. God will make a way. He looked at him. Yes, he, he said, Cain. He said, Cain, look, look at come, come here, son. Let, let me talk to you. Mama. He said, I know you brought your offering. Mm -hmm. But I will not accept this. Can you see God, My God looking at Cain? Right. Saying, what is this? What is this? Well, what is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, you brought me half a worship. Mm -hmm. You brought me half a praise. Mm -hmm. you, you barely acknowledge my, my name. God. You bring me the second best of what you're doing in your life. You don't give me the first fruits of your life. You don't give me 100% worship. You don't give me 100% praise. And I want to talk to some folks out there. You might be giving. Oh, Lord, oh have mercy. You better stop giving God half praise, Ooh, doing man. one thing one day and doing another thing the next day. God is not going. That is some strange fire. Yes. And God is not going to accept that. My God. I don't care how big you are. Mm. I don't care what title you hold in. I don't care what you're going through. Right now. I don't care what it is. Right? When God says, be ye holy, for I am holy, that means you cannot defer and do your own thing. The Bible lets us know that folks were doing what was right in their own eyes, and I don't care who's with you, and I don't care who's against you. You need to be doing what God has called you to do. Yes. Sin is a way. And if you ain't telling folks about sin, you got a problem. All right. It's not just the people's problem. It's your problem. My God. Because you're not teaching or you're not preaching on the sin that folks should be getting out of. So God lets us know. He lets Cain know. Man. You need to think. 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 So Cain's sitting here. Mm. And he's like, okay, you're not accepting this. There must be something going on with me. Mm. And sometimes we have to go back and reevaluate ourselves. Yeah. Is there something yes. wrong with me? Yes. Is, yes. Is, every time I go somewhere, am I the common denominator for things that are happening in my life? Why yeah, chaos my life. is happening this way? If, am I the common denominator for hell coming my way? Ooh. Every time I feel like I'm getting above, my I Lord, get pushed right Lord. back down. Am I the common denominator when I get around folks that they don't want to be around? What is it? What is it? What is it? You have to reevaluate your God, life. The Bible says a man that is friendly or has friends must or he shows himself to be friendly. My God. Mm. Cain That's good. was wondering That's good. That's why good. is there something wrong with me? Right. He had a deep anger mm. within him. Oh my God. He had a deep anger. Yeah. That was within him. Listen to what he said in verse 6. Okay. He said, And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? Why are you angry? Why is thy continent fallen? Why are you sad? Right, sometimes yeah. we have to step back and ask ourselves, Why are we angry? Right, yeah. Angry sometimes means jealousy. Yeah. And we can be jealous of other folks. Yeah. But we should not let that get in the way of doing what God has called us to do. Right. So he told Cain, he said, why are you sad? Sometimes we can be sad. We can be happy one day and we can be sad right, another day. Right. But don't fall into a state of depression because God is still with you. Yes, he yes. is. God is still yes, with you. Is, God was letting Cain know. He said, you need to think about this. Stay on the post. Stay. But you need to think yeah. about this. Stay you need it. to think about this. If thou doest well, yeah. he said, how to handle the situation. Cain identified. God identified with him that he had some anger stirred up 
in his oh, life. God, the next God. one, he says, how to handle the situation. He says, if you would do well, if you would just do right do by right. me. Do right. Resist it. Y'all right now. If you would just do right by me. Listen, sin is what God was trying to warn. My God. Cain about. Okay. What is sin? Sin is not. Mm -hmm. Sin is not. Lord have mercy. All right, now it's me. not always changing your behavior. Right. Mm. But where you put your trust at? All right now. And our trust is in Him. It's from self, God ruled, to God selfless, God ruled. Mm. It is God focused. So when he goes into this, he tells Cain, he said, Cain, listen here, this is how you handle the situation. If you would do just right by me. Just Touch right your neighbor and say, do right by me. Do right, right by me. me. Just, just do right by me. Yeah. There are some folks that's eating crow right now because they didn't do right by you. They mishandled, Lord have mercy, that's Ooh. another message. They I mishandled got. you. Uh, they talked about oh you. They didn't do things that they were supposed to do my in God. your life. They folks have disrespected God. you. Mm. And you didn't kept your mouth closed. My God, my God. You stepping on the toes. If they just do right mm. by you, Dang. God tells Cain, if you just do right by me, mm. I will accept your gift. I will accept your worship. Yeah. I will accept your praise. I will accept your offering. I will accept and I will come alongside you yes. and make sure that the promises of God is open or manifested uh, in your life. Oh if you just do right by me. Do right by him. My God. He said, I will accept it. And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door. My God. This is what he was trying to tell him. Mm. When you would do good, evil is always present. Right. And he tells him, if you don't get this under control, mm, mm, mm. if you don't get this sin problem under control, my God. He says sin will separate you. Yes, it will. It will cause a death in your life. Yes, it will. When we talk about sin, you talk about Romans 3 and 23, it says all have sin. All have sin. And come short yes, yes, of the glory yes. of God. When you talk about sin, you talk about Romans yes. uh, 6 and 23, it says for the wages of sin are death, but the gift of God is eternal, eternal life. life in eternal Jesus life. Christ. Eternal so life. when we talk about sin, God had to recognize the sin that was in his life. Yes. Uh -huh. And he told Cain, Think about this. Mm -hmm. What is the enemy trying to give you? My God. What is the enemy trying to throw your way? What has the enemy put in your path? My God. Cain was so worried about what his brother had already received. My he God. received an acceptance from God. And there are some folks that are mad because God is working on your behalf. Yes, there are some folks that are upset yes, they because are. they see the hand of God moving in your life yes, and yes. they are angry, they are sad, they are upset. Yes. And God said, if you just do right by me, do right yes. by me. The same thing your brother got, the same thing your sister got, yes. is the same thing I can put in you to play in your life. Yes. So he said, How can I handle this situation? When you start looking into this, God told him, He said, uh, sin lieth at the door. Right. First of all, we must understand that uh, Cain was not sincere with his gift. Mm. My God. My God. You have to be sincere, sincere. with your gift. Yes, yes. You have to be sincere in your prayer. Uh -huh. You have to be sincere in your worship. Yes, you do. <laughs> My God. <laughs> you have to be sincere in your praise, yes. in your worship. My God, my God, what an awesome God. You have to be sincere in your praise, yes, in your worship, yes, in your offering, yes. yes. And Cain was not sincere, mm. he was disrespectful, disrespectful, mm. my Lord. 
My, 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 my. He tried to cover it up. Mm. He tried to give him a partial offering. And God was not accepting it. My God. God said, Cain, sin lieth at the door. Yeah. What he was saying was the enemy. The enemy. Mm. My the God. enemy is like a lion. Yes, it is. sitting at your door. He's waiting. Waiting, waiting. To and the Bible talks about don't give the enemy a foothold right, right. in your don't do life. It, don't get if it. you give the enemy the opportunity to operate in your life, that's going to mean destruction for you. Right. He says sin lies at the door. Yeah. And what will happen if you don't handle it? It will overpower you. My God. Jesus. First Peter 5 and 8 says it like this. Mm. Be alert. Mm. Be sober. Be yes. sober minded. Your enemy, the devil, walketh around as a roaring Lord. lion seeking Lord. whom he may devour. Lord. The enemy is Lord. trying to Lord. devour you, Cain, My but you God. have to resist, resist him. You have to resist him. Resist him. You have to resist yes. him. Resist him. You have to resist him. Uh, you started yeah. off not being sincere because a double-minded man is unstable in all oh, his ways. You have to be sincere. And he tells him to resist. Resist. The enemy. Yes. This is how you're going to overpower him, Cain. Yes, my God. This is how you're going to withstand him. This is how you're going to oppose him. Mm -hmm. This is how you're going to be an enemy to him. He says it in uh, James 4 and 7. My. He tells you in 1 Peter 5 and 9. Resist him. Stand fast therefore in the faith. Yes. From which God has set you free. My God. You have to resist him. Yes, God is. commands us to do what he says. My God. God commands us to do what is right. And to be true. What is right and what is true. Wow. Listen, he was not. <laughs> <laughs> My God, good. Pastor. His ways are not like our ways. Sure not. They are past finding out. God knows what's going on in our life. Yes. So if you don't know, all you have to do is ask God. Ask him. All you have to do is ask God. Yes. If any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God. Yes. Who giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not. And he will be, it shall be given to him. Yes. God said, if you don't know, you don't now know. you know. Now you know. If you don't know, now, now you, know. you know. All you got to do is ask him. Yes. God, what's going on in my life? Right, is, right, is right. this a blessing that you're trying to send my way? What, what, what is this? Is the, is the enemy trying to cause confusion in my life? Is the enemy trying to cause uh, destruction Lord. in my life? Is the enemy trying to cause separation in my life? What is this that is trying to come upon my life right now? What is this yes. that's trying to enter into my heart right now? Yes. King, all he had to do was confess that he was feeling angry, yes. but he let God do the speaking. Yes. And what happened? Yes. My, my, was uh, upset with God. Yeah. Yes. And there's some folks right now, you might be upset with God. Yes. Because you see God doing some great things with some other folks. Uh, and yes. you're wondering, how come it's not my turn? Why isn't it happening fast enough? Why isn't this going why, for why, me? Why, 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 why is it happening like this? Cain was looking at Abel and said, Abel, I'm going to get you. Mm. And he had that murdering spirit on him. My God. So I don't know what spirit that's trying to cling on to you, my whether God. it's depression. My God. My Despondency. God. I, I, I don't know if it's anger, but Lord we want to resist the enemy on this them. morning. Yes. God is going to tell you to resist that. Yes. Whatever the enemy is trying to throw your throw your way, you need to ask, what is this? What is is this? it for me or is it against me? Right. Is it going to build me or is it going to tear me My down? God. You need to ask, what is My this? God. What yes. is this? And if it's not for you. Return. Return to sin. To sin. All right now. Return to sin. All right. Return. Mm -mm. Abel's gift was received because of faith. And you got to have faith in this season to hold on to God's unchanging hand. The enemy is trying to block your faith. He's trying to block you from trusting in God. Yes. But you need to ask yourself, what is this? What is I, this? I, I'm not receiving what the enemy is trying to do. The Bible lets us know that anger, for anger gives a foothold to the devil. Mm. That's Ephesians 4 and 27. All right. And you cannot let the enemy have a foothold in your life. You can't. 
He would tear you down. Yes, he will. So we come against the enemy on this morning. Yes. We tell him that he's a defeated foe. Yes. That God has all rule. Yes. God has all authority yes, in does. our life. Yes, we just thank God for the great things he's doing in our lives. Yes. We want God to be blessed. Hallelujah. We want God to be glorified. Yes. And that's all God wants is to be glorified by his yes. children. He's watching over us. Hallelujah. He's protecting us. Yes. He's shielding us. Yes. But all God. he wants us to do is think. Hallelujah. He said meditate upon these things. Uh, think of these things that are in him. You have to meditate. Yes. On the things of God. My God. God wants us to think. Yes. Think before answering. Yes. Mm. Think before doing. Yes. It could mean destruction. My if God. you act hastily. So we don't want to act hastily on this morning. Sure yes. no, sure we no. want God to have his way. Have have his way. way. We want him to be glorified. Yes. yes. And we tell the enemy, what is this? Yes. My God. In other words, I recognize what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. I recognize that you're trying to destroy me. Mm -hmm. I recognize that you've been uh, 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 you've been chasing after me. Mm -hmm. I recognize that you have your hand. You're trying to keep your hand on my feet. You're trying to lock me down with some things that won't let me go. But God said, whom the Son has set free, whom the Son has made free, yes. is free indeed. indeed. Yes. So on this morning, I don't know what what things you might have been battling with. The Son has made free. I don't know what things you've been battling with. Mm -hmm. I don't know what things have been hindering you. I don't know what things have been a, a curse to you. Yeah. But God said, on tonight, on this morning, on this morning it's, yeah. broken. it's broken. It's broken. It, it's Hallelujah. broken because he said you have identified yes. the issue in your life. And God said, now you take control Hallelujah. of that thing. And he said, do right by me. Yes. And I'm going to do right by you. Yes. Resist the enemy. Resist. Resist the enemy. Yes. Resist the enemy. Yes. And he shall flee. All right now. Oh, this morning. My God. If you had a problem resisting the enemy, if you've been dealing with temptations. My God. If you've been dealing with temptations. My God. Things that's trying to rock the boat on your ship. My God. If you've been dealing with things that are not uh, not in the will of God. Right. If you've been dealing with things that's trying to bring you down. If you've been dealing with sickness that's been trying to come up against your body. Right. If you've been dealing with uh, 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 mental issues. If right, you've been right. dealing with yeah, depression. Yeah. Yeah. God said today is the day. What is this? What is this? It's time to break this. Time to break yes. this. God said, I didn't send that thing. I didn't send it your way. My God. I send you blessings. I send you blessings. Yes. I send you blessings. Yeah. I send you blessings. My yes. My God. And I don't send you curses. My God. My God. Mm. So what is this? My Lord. What is this? Father, we thank you on this morning. Yes, God. yes Lord. We thank you for your word. Yes. You told us that we can return the sender. Yes, God. That what is this? This is not what we ordered. Right, God. This is not what we like. This is not we, what we were expecting. That we can rescind that rescind, return the sender. That we don't have to just accept any and everything right now. that has been placed before us. Right yes, now. That we have a standard. Yes. And in you there is a standard. Yes. And God, we want to hold on to that standard yes. in you. We just won't accept any and everything. All right now. You would not accept any and everything, so we should not have to accept any and everything. My yes, Lord. Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. We accept love. Yes. Yes. We accept peace. Yes. We accept joy. Yes. yes. Thank you, you said, God. Whatever Thank we you, God. on earth Thank you, God. shall be bound in heaven. Yes, God. Whatever we loose on earth, on earth, God. earth Thank shall you. be loose in heaven. Father, we bind up distractions right now. Yes, Lord. We bind up any hesitation. We bind up laziness. Yes. We bind up frustration. Yes. We bind up depression. Yes. And we loose the good things. Oh, my God. Help us to walk in your in, in your ways. In your ways. Guide us. Help us, God. Strengthen us. Continue to encourage us. Yes, God. Or lift us when we're down. Yes, God. For you are God that have not forsaken us. Yes, God. Oh, my God. 
My God. My so we thank you on this thank morning. You, thank you, Lord. Father, for those that don't know you. My Lord. And need to know you. Those that want to be saved on this morning. Yes. Father, save them right now. Yes, Touch them, God. Oh, yeah, God. We heal them God. right yeah. now. Show yeah. yourself to be strong yes, on God. their behalf. Yes, and Father, we give you praise yes. for what you're doing right now. Yes, God. Somebody's life just has been stirred My up. My God. Yes, God. Because Thank you made it in your mind. Yes. Somebody just said, what is this? Praise God. You identified the chaos yes. and the hell that's been coming your way. Yes. God. And you will not receive it anymore. Praise God. We My cast it back to the pits of hell. Yes. And we thank God. Thank God. For your grace. Yes. We yes, thank God. God for your mercy. Yes. We God. thank God for your love. Yes, Lord. And it's in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. Now come on, give the Lord a hand. Amen. 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 What is this? What is this? <laughs> What is this? Can you see God had an attitude? But he was correcting his loved one. He was correcting his child yes. in love. So even when we deal with family, yes. I, I'll say this and get out the way. You, you know, you tell your kids, go play in your room, and they so in a hurry to get out that they have cleaned it, and then they come running by and talk about it's done. And you go back there and look. And you're like, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? And you call them back. That's what God is doing. My you're God. saying, what is this? What is this? You're giving me half worship. What is this? My He's God. calling you back. Yes. To the altar. He's calling us to the altar. He's calling us to the altar. He wants to get part of it. He wants to instill something in yeah. us. He's trying to get us get our attention. And he's trying to tell us that we create we're created in his image. Yes. So we thank God, thank you God. For all this morning. Yes. Thank you God. We thank God because we are aware of sin. We thank God because we know how to be sincere. Yes. And we thank God because we know how to resist the enemy. So on this morning, we say, God bless you and be blessed. If you have not sold. Amen. If you have not given an offering, amen. All right. Offering time. All right. It is offering time. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. If you desire to give to OEM. Yes. Amen. This is good ground. And we just get started. Amen. 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 God's doing some great things. Yes, he is. And if you want to get down, get on the ground level or get on the, the, the ground level with us and run. Because that's what we're doing. We're running. As soon as this snow cut, we're running. We're doing some great things in the community. Amen. We, we try to get some things stirred up. Amen. And we got folks that are right with us. Amen. So we just thank God for them. But if you want to be a soul, if you want to sow, if you want to be a blessing to this ministry, yes. the cash app will be put up. Amen. 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 And we pray that you do so. Amen. Amen. And we're going to pray over, your, over that offering right now. Father God, we thank those that are sowing on this morning. Yes, we thank God. you for the increase that you are sending into their lives. Yes. Father, we thank you for the abundance and the overflow just because they sowed in faith. Yes. So when you said faith, we thank you because they sowed in faith. Faith is the substance of things hopeful, the evidence of things not seen. So Father, we thank you for the faith of those that are sowing this morning in faith. Give it back to them 100 fold, not 50, not 60, but 100 fold. Give them the desires of their heart and let them know that you are continually stretching out your hand towards yes, them. God, Father, yes, we God. thank you. Thank you, for God. Each and every one of them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. 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 Now, at this time, I'm going to turn you into the hands of Lady P and she's going to take us further into, into the service. Amen. 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 Let's give her heart amen. 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 Praise God. Praise amen. God. I'm still in worship this morning. Woo, amazing God. I'm just full, full on this morning. Amen. Amen. Woo, God is amazing. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. So amazing. amazing. So amazing. God is amazing. So amazing. Nobody, nobody, nobody like you. Nobody. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, just kind of get that out a little bit. Let's give the word a hand praise hallelujah. on this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. We want to thank everyone for joining in today with us, OEM. Amen. You can continue to catch us live on Facebook. We also have our services on YouTube under Elder Michael Payne. Amen. Amen. We want to thank you. We want to thank you for watching we want to thank you for praying with us thank you for getting the word out thank you for your healing on this morning yes, thank sure. god i'm sorry thank god for your healing on this morning yes, thank sure. god for being delivered on this morning yes. what you don't want send it back send return it, back. it to the sender All what right. is this what is this we've already put our cash app up dollar sign oem 1969 you can also inbox us We'll answer your questions or show you how to um, cash out. It is open at this time. We also have a post office box for any invitations, any prayer requests, anything that you need. You know how to reach us. If you don't, inbox us. We will get back with you. Amen. Also, we have Minister Cheney in the house. Amen. We're praying on that job. Amen. You need to be here every time the door is open. Amen. <laughs> she, even when she's not in the house. She is still in contact. Yes, she is. She's still watching, and we pray for that. We're praying for Sister Yolette. We're praying for Sister Amen. Joanna, Sister Patricia, Jennifer, Latoya, Keosha, Samantha, Felicia, Melinda, All Yolanda, Sheila, everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Amen. We Amen. love you. We, love we you. know that God will do that thing for you. Yes, he Amen. will. He will. Yes, he will. Yes, he we will. We have an announcement coming up. Um, well, two announcements. Um, you can always, uh, if you need flyers, you need some services, we have our tech team on Facebook. They are better together. Amen. And the young ladies do all of our tech flyers, um, help us with different things that we need done, internet questions, phone questions, all of that. Amen. Also, coming up, we know we put the same, the date, but flyer invitations will also be going out for our own Pastor Michael Payne's pastoral installation. Let's give God a Amen. hand. Amen. God is doing some things in this city. Yes, he is. He's adding to the city, not taking away. He's adding to the city. Yes, it's is. for his kingdom. His not Lord. yours, not mine. His kingdom. His yes, kingdom. Lord. Pastoral installation will be May the 21st. 2022. It is a Saturday evening program, 5 p.m. You are invited. The location will be held at Dupree Memorial um, Church, God of Christ, on Hayden Street. We will be getting that information out to you also in mail, even though the Save the Date is on Facebook. Amen. Um, we also want to um, let you know that you need to continue with us praying for the bereavement families. There's a lot of loss. Amen. Pray for those families. Pray for, you know, their hearts to be healed. We've all gone through it. If you have not, keep living. Amen. Amen. Pray for those who are sick and ill. Pray for those who are in nursing homes. Uncle Jimmy, God is healing you right now where yes, you're at. Yes, he We're is. believing in that healing. Coming home. Coming home. We're waiting to see you. Amen. We're waiting. We also want to let you know that OEM is on the move. Amen. Amen. OEM we do our outreach. We have our ministry. We also have our Tuesday night, every second and fourth, Soaring with the Word. Amen. Soaring with the Word, where we can teach. Uh, we also go into topics that people have sent us an inbox, Amen. wanted to know about, and that's what we do. Amen. So join us this Amen. Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Amen. on Facebook Live. And then we will also make sure we get that on YouTube because we do have some family members who said we got to have it on YouTube to see it. We got you. Amen. Um, that's all the um, upcoming announcements that I have. Um, Pastor already said, you know, if you would like to join, you know how to do that. Inbox us. We'll get a hold of you. We'll get back with you on information and also um, our cash app. But at this time, we just want to say thank you for joining us. And we're going to bring Pastor Payne back up to finish us up. Have a blessed day. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Lord.
And we truly we thank God for each and every one thank of you. Thank God for you. On, on this morning, we pray that something was said, something was done. Amen. That you can pull up by. Amen. For the week coming up. Because the enemy is still out there. Yes. He is a defeated foe, but he's still lurking. He's still seeking whom he may devour. So on this morning, we want you to be blessed. Yes. And remember, yes. if it's not what God has sent your way, you have the opportunity to say, what is this? Yes, yes. I don't receive this. I'm not going to take this. Yes. I'm not going to accept this. And you can send it back to whoever it came from. Yes. And that's the enemy because he wants to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes. He's trying to yes, rob you of your joy. Yes, he He's trying to rob you of your, your blessing. Yes. He's trying to rob you of your healing. He's trying to rob you of your deliverance. So I say, what is this? What is if this? it ain't benefiting me, it got to go. Yes. And you got to go in the name of Jesus. Name Amen. Of Jesus. God bless you. Amen. We give you a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. We want to say we love each and every one of you. Thank you for joining us and catch us on Tuesday night. Yes. And may the Lord bless you yes. and keep you. May the, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Henceforth, now, and forevermore, and the church say, Amen. 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 Give yourself a hand clap of praise. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hallelujah. And remember, what is this? What is this? It don't benefit you, it got to go. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your evening or your morning. You are a